Now, Q Suite has been in the market for two years. Is this still an industry leading product? Find out for yourself in this video. This is Shanghai Fly speaking to you from a splendid morning at JFK. Today, I'll be taking you on board the world's best business class on board the world's best airline. A 12 hours journey on board Qatar Airways from New York to Doha. Qatar operates two frequencies daily between Doha and JFK, the morning departure being served by an Airbus A350-1000 leaving from Terminal 7. Terminal 7 is the hub of British Airways and houses some other One World and Non Allies carriers. It is the second smallest terminal at JFK with only two lounge options available. Stay tuned for my review of British Airways Boeing 747 Upper Deck upcoming this December. As a One World Airline, Qatar's premium passengers are given access to the British Airways Lounge. As a business customer, I was able to use the Galleries Lounge. <laughs> It has been three years since I last departed internationally from Terminal 7, and the renovated British Airways lounge looks immaculate. Given the concentrated departure of BA flights in the evening hours, the lounge only had Qatar and ANA passengers in the morning. The interior allowed a decent amount of natural light with plenty of seatings for British Airways, most important outstation customers. However, if given a choice, I would still prefer American's flagship lounge in Terminal 8, which serves Qatar's evening Boeing 777 service, but considering it will be my first flight on the 350-1000s, I gladly accepted Terminal 7. <laughs> Final check of my expert fly before leaving the lounge showing a completely full cabin today. There are only 8 boarding gates at Terminal 7, and the gate area is relatively tight especially for a 327 packs A350. Lining up at the gate was obviously a slight struggle, but I still became one of the first passengers to step on board the incredible A350-1000. After receiving the warmest greetings I've ever had at the boarding door, I was escorted to my suite 5A. Let you see, please Thank get you very place. much. It is incredible how Qatar has caught every business class passengers, considering that there are 46 of them. Some may find the Q suite looking a little claustrophobic, but once I settled into the suite myself, I find the enclosure a lot bigger compared to the space I occupied, as you can see later when I am in the video.
serving is a la garden dine any time. You can choose anything from the menu and then you can. And also the lunch or pizza is a medium size. If you would like to choose this sure. menu. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Watch company pajamas and menu was presented shortly after boarding. Slippers are provided inside a pajamas kit, meaning that you won't get slippers on shorter flights since pajamas are not provided. Storage cabinet is next to the seat under the armrest with impressive volume. It is not often that you find personal air vents in aircraft this new. One of the highlights of Qatar is obviously its dining service. They are one of the few airlines that operate on a dine on demand a la carte service, meaning you can order anything you like from an a la carte menu anytime. Next up is the absolutely impressive wine list, starting with the fantastic Laurent Perrier Rosé that retails for about $60 a bottle. Finally, Hontrion is also a fancy name to be seen in a business class cabin. Please pay attention as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. For your comfort and safety, attention, and a light that will automatically illuminate when in water. Infant life jackets will be distributed by the cabin crew. Please take a moment self of the safety aspects of this aircraft. Please read the safety card, which is in your seat pocket. And if you have any questions, our cabin crew will be open for taxi, takeoff and landing. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your flight with Qatar Airways. استخدام في حال اوقاتكم جهازكم الالكتروني داخل المقعد يرجى عدم استخدام Immediately after takeoff, the crew came by every seat and unlocked the suite door. The 
giving you the sense of just how private it is, the height of the door almost reached the overhead panel. chose to have a five course meal right after takeoff started with a glass of so jenny the table setup is up to the standard of a fine dining restaurant with even different flavors of olive oils to choose from And of course, every passenger is entitled to their own bread basket. Delicious soup for you, sir. Thank you. Thank Now that was a sumptuous lunch at 35,000 feet, genuinely the best food I have ever had in business class cabin. That now being over, it is the time to wrap up some sleep with 10 hours left to do. hours of flying time is not just bad to me who has been accustomed to 15 hours trans-pacific flights. With my stomach still pampered by the previous meal, I didn't choose to have anything substantial, but rather just an afternoon tea set prior to landing. Sweets and sandwiches were perfect, although nothing spectacular. With now just an over hour left in flight, I connected to the in-flight Wi-Fi and used my one-hour complimentary usage, which also applies to passengers in economy. 
Now this is certainly the highlight of the flight when the captain supervisor came by with a bespoke cake to thank me for flying with Qatar and making a review. I've seen impeccable services on many flights but this is absolutely the most dedicated crew I have ever encountered. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, once again from the cockpit, uh, currently we are cruising on altitude of uh, 39,000 feet, shortly we will start our descent toward Hamad International in Doha. We expect to touch down at 6.10 uh, 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 a.m. local time, we should be able to get up approximately 6.15. The weather is good. Temperature 19 degrees Celsius, the wind is moderate from the north. It was a pleasure having on board today on the Alcatel Airways, the entire crew. Wish you a very pleasant stay in Doha or a safe uh, journey to your own and one more destination. Thank you and uh, good morning. Qatar has to be ranked among its peers in the commercial aviation industry, it is undoubtedly a level of its own. I am more than stunned by the last 12 hours of what was probably the best flight I have ever had in my life thus far. From the moment you step on board, Qatar will ensure that you're not only enjoying the flight but never wanting to leave again. Skytrax may not be the most credible agency, but Qatar's accolades are very well deserved and my experience with them perfectly justifies what I would call the pinnacle of commercial aviation. Thank you and good morning. 